Well, first and foremost, Marines. Hoo-ha, right? I got this from a Marine himself. Yeah, named Chris. He's awesome. I haven't heard from him in a Sad. Tear. Um, I said this was going to be a music channel, but I think I'm just going to stick to comedy. I'm probably going to give info. Hmm. Do you see? Um, info about what I think of songs and all. Like, what up with Tara Schlepp? Like, she's teaches. And, um, yeah. But this is another episode of Twilight. Now, I just want to give info that maybe next episode. There might be a hint of my friend Quentin. Yeah, he's going to be represent. We're going to be doing like this chat thing. I will either be JK and work for Jacob, considering I was once Switzerland. He's going to be the team for the people who really don't care and haven't read the books. I think Kira's probably going to be Edward or Jacob, or vampire or werewolf, you know. doesn't really... We don't really care on that situation. <clears throat> well, what I'm here to talk about today is about some of the werewolves that really don't get recognized. Like, better. Like, firstly, Embry Call. Actually, I pronounce it Embry. Embry Call. Yes, that's a dude. And he's one of Jacob's best friends. Now, in my mind, he always seems like a very cool kid, you know? Cool. He's, he's an awesome dude, right? Well, I imagine him <laughs> and um, Lee Clearwater, another unrecognized werewolf, imprinting on each other. Why? I don't know. It's just a thought, you know? Things can happen. You know, but, um, that, or Leah, she's the only werewolf that's a girl. Forever she wolves. Does he fight with the camera? Woo! Right? Well, um, yeah, she's the only girl wolf. And it's really sucks is she can't have kids. You know, because the whole aging process so screwed up. It's not, it's not totally screwed up. But, um, yes. I imagined her and Jacob also imprinting on each other if, like, you know, Nessie was gone. I mean, what's the deal with Nessie? She's so young. I, I always, like, imagine Bella Thorne playing Nessie, but this girl, Mackenzie Foy, is just weird. Julia Jones, the one that plays Leah Clearwater. I'm Team Blackwater, which means I love Seth and Leah Clearwater, and Jacob Black, and Rachel Black, and Rebecca Black. And basically, the whole family is just come down. Well, Julia Jones, she plays um Leah Clearwater. She does an okay job, I'm not going to lie. She's... She's, she gets the whole point. But whether or not she's pushing the point to the camera, pushing it to the camera, like, this is the point. Listen, this is the point, right? She's not, she's not shoving it. And she needs, and sometimes she even overdoes it. She doesn't, hasn't got that perfect measurement. And, um, Seth, a.k.a. Booby Stewart. Booby Stewart plays Seth from T-Squad. Yeah. He's, um, he's okay, you know? I thought I was going to be somebody a tiny bit older, and I would have been upset, but I'm glad they picked him. He's really, he works with them. Um, and then Embry... Um, 
I don't remember that dude's name. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, I don't remember him. His name. Sorry. Like went off, right? Um but yeah, he he did a pretty okay job. Another werewolf that doesn't recognize much, two of them. Brandon and Colin. They're from Breaking Dawn. They barely even get mentioned in the book, like barely. They're the newest wolves, like really new. But you know, I never I didn't like I didn't like them very much. And um yeah, we basically that was basically our talk about the three, four, five, five werewolves that really don't get recognized much. Next, the vampires that don't get recognized much. Which is coming up like right right now. As soon as I'm done posting this. And then episode four. Episode four with Quentin and Kara and Mwah. Don't get me wrong. I'm not the leader of this whole mission. I am 